I can an air over here, and this time we're going to have a lab with our cooking and stuff. Alright, I'm going to demonstrate to you what we're going to make. Let me turn on the light. Today we're going to make chicken penne alfredo. And the recipe calls for one jar of alfredo sauce, one box of penne cook, four bone with chicken cut into strips, a gas of garlic powder, one heap, I mean one fourth teaspoon of thyme, one fourth teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a gas of Italian seasoning, one bag of Parmesan cheese, one eight teaspoon of pepper. And pretty soon we're going to warm them out to direction. Now, I'll come back to you and we're going to get started here. Let me get out the ingredients first, okay? Alright, we got our ingredients out and we're going to begin. Alright. I have this ingredient right here. Parmesan cheese, Alfredo sauce, salt, garlic powder, thyme, pepper, Italian seasoning, olive oil, penne. I actually put water in it. Alright, now we never want to ruin this. Always wash your hands. Eh, yeah, well, too hot for me. Never forget to wash your hands. Have some soap here. All right. So far you see me in action. I had an apron on too. I don't require anyone to wear an apron. If you don't want an apron, that's okay with me. You don't have to wear an apron. Now, for real, we're going to turn on how long the burner we add one a half one box of hot penne. Now let me try to put the bowl so that you can see. I'll just prepare the seasoning for now. We're talking about utensils later on. Alright. Now I'll tell you what order I go to and how I do it right. So we got a fourth. Right now I'm going to put a fourth. Tablespoon. Mm. A salt right here. Next, I'm going to put one teaspoon. Yeah, I have one fourth tablespoon. I mean one four teaspoon. Now one eight teaspoon of pepper.
in order to add a gas of Italian seasoning. I had a few gases there. And we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder as well. But I have a little bit more to spice up the flavoring there. Alright. One for hey, I mean I mean teaspoon. More I'm a tablespoon of thyme. Now I'm just gonna use this for spoon right there. I kind of blend the seasoning. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, huh, I'm gonna drop the meal in when we get back. We're gonna pour in the penne next. Alright, the water is boiling right now, so that means we can put the penne inside now let's put the penne now let's reduce the heat now I can reduce the medium heat right now Now, I like it. It's just put for 11 minutes. And I'm going to set the timer for 11 minutes. And it also says stir occasionally. So now, Also, we can taste any, the taste of pasta gets done when you use a strainer or a colander to grain the pasta. So, with, so now I'm going to stop the video and we'll come back to it shortly. Alright, guys. We are back, and now we have some pasta out to cook. We're going to drain the pasta. All right, that was easy, yeah. And now. The pasta looks pretty good. I can eat the pasta right now if I want. <laughs> now, we are going to preheat the oven to 425. Now this time we're going to use the oven this time. Alright. Now I'm going to put the pan And this time I'm going to prep the pan using two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. <coughs> now I'm going to put, now my next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put let me 
my fucking hammer right here, right there. I'm gonna put the pasta in a large bowl. And we're going to dump a whole jar of Alfredo sauce. And we're going to take parmesan cheese. And we're going to dump a whole bag of it. Make sure I got every last bit of it. Does not call for it, but I kind of like to add it or so. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, or you can add any vegetable if you want. You can nice. I'm going to add some baby berries to it. Now I have my chicken sauce. Now we are going to mix everything in. I blend it perfectly. Blend it really good. I like raw thing a lot. That ain't a cooked one. Now I'm gonna wash my hands again. And my hand's kind of messy. Now, while I haven't preheated, I have some chicken that is flawed. And remember the last question that, remember the last question about the knife? We're gonna put that to the test now. Now, I like the word love and have a raw food, but I don't have love at all. Same thing, we have to get, I mean, I like to go slow. We're going to cut the chicken into strips.
Now to be really careful with the knife. I didn't put the chicken in a mixture. But now I got a chicken. And then, careful with the knife. I'm going to cut this in half. You see how careful I am with the knife. Now I want to take you. I want to take you close. To the action. And then I'm still using the knife. And I'm using a heavy board as well. Okay, that knife has to go anywhere. But I try to guide the knife in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Now let me get the bowl. Yeah, they gotta eat raw food now. They gotta eat raw meat. You can get food more in with it. There's certain temperature that chicken and, or other meat. Right now, this is just kind of frozen inside. Or so. Yeah. <laughs>
Alright, I'll find some yeah. Anyway. See how careful I am with the knife right now. I'm cutting a chicken. Preheating, still preheating right now. I was, I forgot to add one more direction. And add a chicken to the mixture. And I also can sanitize the point after you handle raw meat and stuff.
I mixed it up a little bit. I mean, I have a whole lot there, but... and miss the seasoning as well. I forgot I could add the seasoning next. Yeah, 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 that's a perfect one, Oh, I can see it here as well. So I can pop, so I can kind of pop it up a little bit with perfect, with perfect on here. Now, once I get, once I get it, or uh, before, I'll show you again and watch the last question. We put, we put the meat and the, I mean we put the pasta and stuff, casserole in the oven and now we're going to set the timer for 30 to 40 minutes. I can set it up to 40 minutes, and that should be good. Alright, this time I have my clean apron on with a clear vinyl type apron. Now we're going to learn how to kind of clean up after we get done with the kitchen and stuff. Room of that, we have to clean Put out everything. This is me to be white. Hair is me to be white. Everything needs to be clean. Oh. Now. I, I, I even do it just like this. I really do it. They're putting nice, so nice, in a point area. I mean, in a point water, or inside of this water with soap in it. You must cut yourself. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to Put everything out. I'm gonna taste this. I'm gonna taste this thing right here. And I'm gonna drain it. Put it in the drain. Now we're gonna use hot water. And we're going to use this soap, and we're going to put dishes away. I mean, I mean we're going to put dishes in this this soap. Now, we're going to sanitize, we're going to sanitize the paintboard so that we have raw beef in it. Bacteria itself. Now, also include it. We're 
Where's Noah? Why? Watch the bowl as well. Now I'm going to drive the knife and put it in the rightful place. Put it in a But what about the pencil later on? The last one's a nice show. Alright. So far. So far we put and now we're cleaning it so. Now I'm going to sanitize the table now. Use the light though, and we're going to sanitize the table. And we're going to take the bed and wipe the table down. Now the dishes are being soaked right now. You know, me, I, I hate doing dishes and stuff, but you everyone needs to wash the dishes, actually. You have to wash the dishes whether you like it or not. Now, now later on I'm going to show you how to 
to watch this is. How to watch everything. Alright. Now, let me get out my hot pad and what I call off the oven. Turn it off the oven. I call it I call it day. It's a little brown on the outside, but it's not that bad. That is the finished dish right there. That was all we have to do and what is cool. And I'm going to taste test it in a little while. Now, since we are a Bayard dinner, um, our recipe, we're on a terrible and have a nice meal. So, before I start the camera, I'm going to take one piece of it, and I'm going to tell you how the meal is. I'm going to have it thick in here. Pretty good. What's that one? Anyway, that's the food for our lab. And I'll show you how to wash the dishes later on. Oh, I'm going to show you quickly. You know how you get to the stuff. Let me put the camera in the safe spot. Now, this is what I will do. I will wet the sponge, put a little soap on it. Now, I shall eat here. This is uh now with the power of this I was just kinda splash splash some water and stuff. Now we got that one then. This one is actually power. The tie the fish thing is just Way is right here, it's like the corner. Yes, sir. Then, so it's this. It's not too very anything. I just had it. Use my finger to get some thing out. How to get the best fish. Now with this big bowl, my yeah, you know, really kind of deep out here. And that's a large bowl. I put everything in. Uh, so like that, I had to get in between the, what you want to call it, what you want to call it. You have to be careful with the water and stuff, so I won't splash, so I won't Flash too much. 
Now, now that makes not my first team fan that I had. It may take over nice and soap and a lot of stuff in between. Now I have this little thing to kind of swing the glass and stuff. I can see I put a little soap in. So this is how you basically wash the glass. You just rinse it with the water. Add a little water. Just go like this. Rinse it. And dry. The tank is not that hard to clean. I mean, spoons and stuff, it's not that preferable to clean, you know. And you got the bowl here. Wash the bowl. They have this bowl has the season in it, so. Now let's wash the pot. Pots is sometimes kind of hard to clean. And okay, find supplies that I wanna show ya. Mm. And that's basically how you do get this. Ready for a surprise? <laughs> what do you think? Well, I'm like, this is heaven, Kobe 2. Now I'm out of space pot on my head. It's just like that TV swing. <laughs> this time it's a bacon one. Anyway, that's it for basic cooking. That's it for the lab. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys.